Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot here. Uh, I want to talk to you just a real quick minute here about a little more about self-defense uh, without a firearm. And uh, it just dawned on me today, I had forgot, somebody asked me, it's been, it's been a long time ago, uh, about uh, self-defense if you're a felon and not able to carry a gun. And I had said that I would, and I had just, it just literally slipped my mind, and I have forgot. So you guys in the past, if you've asked me to do a video, if I hadn't got to it yet, or if I forgot, I, I, I greatly apologize. Uh, but anyway, I had a friend, uh, known for years, went to school with, you know, great guy, made some mistakes when he was younger, and of course got a felony on his record, wasn't nothing violent or anything, just made some bad choices. Uh, but once that felony is on your record, and even though you're young and make mistakes, that felony don't go off your record. So if you're not able to carry a firearm, the uh, reason I'm saying this is, I, is one, I want to make sure to, to address that. But two, I don't want you to think I'm talking about taking a knife to a gunfight. This is no means to replace your firearm if you're able to carry one. Uh, but there's a lot of people that aren't able to carry one just because maybe their age or whatever the case may be or where they're at in the world. Uh, maybe not able to, to carry a gun. And, and for instance, you may have a, a, a child that's going to college and you know they're walking uh, to and from their car or maybe have a night class or whatever. They're not allowed to have a, a firearm on campus. Maybe they live at the dorm. Um, so there's still maybe some other options here that, that, I, that I wanna mention to you. And I think I've done a couple knife videos before and some people want to see one in a holster and ask me about, you know, instead of having one on their side or a clip on or uh, in their pocket, uh, maybe want to see one that was in a holster. So uh, I'm gonna try to cover, cover multiple facets here. And we're still gonna do the ones for the vehicles. I told you, you know, the knives in the vehicles, uh, where do the departments and how we deploy them. And we're still gonna try to hit all those high points. And real quick, uh, shall not comply. I got this shirt. My wife and kids got this for me. It's an early Father's Day present. I'm not endorsed by them. Uh, we bought them. We're just a customer like everybody else. But I know Johnny B. Uh, thanks a lot of them. And, and it's a great shirt. Feels re really good material. So if you like the shirt, shall not comply. There's no kickback. Like I said, I don't get anything for it. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, for if you want to conceal carry and still be able to protect yourself uh, without a firearm, or in my case, uh, both. I still got my gun on this side, my EDC, and, and I'm not just doing this for the video. This is literally what I had on today. This is the shirt I had on, and this is the rig that I had on today on, on both sides. And, and you can see it's very concealable. Nobody knew I had it. Uh, nobody knows I have it, but uh, this way you can still be armed if you like a gun and a knife and or you know either one, whatever the, the, the case may be. If you're not familiar with the Karambit, um, I will show it to you here, and this is what I've got. It's a very inexpensive way to carry, uh, and it's got a curved blade here. This is called a Karambit. Uh, <clears throat> several ways to deploy this. Uh, I like it like this, and you can do a lot uh, with it. It's a very sharp blade, and they call a gun the great equalizer uh, for obvious reasons, but I, but I want you to understand something, and also, I'm not trying to keep getting off topic here, but somebody else had mentioned uh, when I done the, I think it was the last video on, on preparedness and you know prepping and stuff, and they want to know about being handicapped or being older and not being able to, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, some options. Well, uh, something like this can be a great tool for you because even if you are that young female in college or maybe you are a gentleman that, you know, age is caught up with us and it's just a fact of life. I don't care if you're Chuck Norris, uh, when you're 75, 80 years old, you're not going to do what you can when you're 20. So if you've got some age on you or, or you're a young female or whatever the case may be, uh, even if somebody is greatly uh, overpowering you, greatly stronger than you, bigger than you, whatever the case may be, uh, you're going to be real hard to manipulate with something like this, okay? Uh, it's going to be really hard to force their will on you. And then, now, this is the thing about the Kramit that I like. You can actually do it like the way I, like the way I showed you, and there's a lot of things you can uh, obviously do with here. Uh, but, but here's the thing about the Kramit. You can put it on either side. My holster is ambidextrous. I can go on either side. Uh, but the reason you have it here is if you want to come out like this, uh, the other way uh, you can hold a karambit is like this, okay? And I, I really prefer this way myself uh, because I'm telling you, uh, you do not want to be hit around the juggler, uh, the wrist, the arms. Uh, somebody that has a karambit that's had little to, you know, minimal training at all, just getting this in their hands. Uh, you know, I mean, if you really want to defend yourself. There's so many ways you can do it. And if you're trying to grab somebody by the wrist, grab somebody's shoulder, grab somebody around the neck, 
they are going to be hard to manipulate with one. This is razor sharp, very inexpensive, very strong, very sturdy, but even if somebody comes behind you and grabs you, uh, you've got to watch because even with a gun, you don't want to start shooting behind you because you don't know what your target is and what's behind you. If somebody grabs you in a chokehold, uh, we won't go into all of the choice, we won't lower your chin, don't give them your neck. And I'm telling you right now, something like this can absolutely positively get them off you, even if they are way bigger and way stronger. I don't care if you're Mike Tyson, if you've got somebody like this and this blade comes across your arm, it's human nature, your ligaments and tendons and muscles, you are absolutely positively going to let go. Again, if somebody get, does a wrist grab or a or shoulder grab or something or tries to get you by the collar and just a simple, you know, very simple uh, maneuver of this karambit. And like I said, uh, you know, around the, 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 the neck area is very uh, vulnerable place with this. I mean, there's a lot you can do uh, with this karambit. Like I said, I love the finger. Uh, here's the thing, I know people think they can do this and do that with a knife, but like I said, if it's cold, if it's hot, if it's raining, if you're bloody, um, uh, this finger hole just gives you that extra, I mean, grip that this ain't going anywhere. This is not going anywhere in my hand. If you needed to, you can come around. Of course, that is hard, that's blunt force. I can do it this way, I can go for the neck, I can come up. Uh, there, there's a million options. Uh, you know, you get somebody on the wrist, uh, they, they can bleed out really quick. I don't want to sound graphic. I don't want to sound me. Uh, I'm the most non-confrontational person there is. I think you probably know that by now about the channel. I'm always avoid, evade, get away. Don't, you know, you know, somebody cut you off in traffic. Who cares? They give you an obscene gesture just because they're a jerk. They won't turn you into one. Which we mentioned before, don't let your ego. People say, well, I wouldn't take that if I was you. Don't let them. Hey, who cares? Go on with your day. But when your life depends on it, if somebody's going for your throat, uh, that's not um, the same as an obscene gesture. Somebody comes up from behind you and tries to choke you or, or, or eat, you know, put you in a bear hug, whatever the case may be, you've got to have ways to slip, get out, evade. And this is very concealable. It's very lightweight. It's dropped against my body. I can hold it on either side. And you train with it. You practice with it. If you want to come out this way, if you'd like to grab it uh, this way, you just adjust your holster to the side that you want it to come out on. Uh, like I said, uh, either way will work. This is a really a, a great uh, asset to you, a, a great tool. It's got a very large blade. And like I said, if somebody gets a hold of you, even in your car, if they reach in, they get a hold of you, and you've got one of these in your hand, you can make them turn loose really quick, okay? And this is a really great option. Like I said, it's very lightweight, very strong, very inexpensive. And even if you're not able to carry a gun, if you don't have access to a gun, if you're not allowed to carry a gun for whatever reason, you still, whether if you've got a felony on your record or you're in school where there's a gun-free zone, you still have the absolute right to defend yourself. And, uh, you know, like I said, uh, it's very easy. It's Kydex holster you see here. I mean, it's very comfortable. I mean, I can conceal it and cover it and, and have this with me wherever I may be. And this is a really great way a lot of the other knife designs too, you know, whatever uh, you like, whatever you come up with, but uh, whatever works best for you, because everybody is unique. But like I said, I just wanted to, uh, you know, cover a lot of videos or a lot of topics in this video, whether you're a felon, whether you're older, uh, you know, with a Kydex holster. I don't know if some of you had mentioned that, that you wanted to see that with a knife video, so I'm trying to cram it all into one. Real easy way to conceal, real easy way to uh, have access to something that could potentially save your life. And like I said, not to be redundant, but if you're a lot, if you're a small frame woman and you feel like somebody could easily overpower you, you get one of these in your hand and then all of a sudden you can turn the tables, you can turn the tide, you can now be in control instead of being the victim. But that's the Crambit. Uh, look it up online. Uh, we love martial arts, and I will tell you this, and I promise I'll get out of the way. Uh, my, my, myself, my kids, uh, we've trained half for years. We love it. We enjoy it. And I've talked about ego. Really, if you've never been around somebody that's really trying to stab you with an eye, even in a controlled environment, if you're using a uh, you know a, a knife that's a training knife that, that doesn't have a, uh, a real blade, whether it's a plastic blade or a flimsy blade, 
if you really have somebody coming at you, and I don't mean just running at you like this so you can do some wrist grab that's not gonna work, but I'm talking about when somebody's really coming at you like this, or really coming at you like this, or really trying to manipulate. If you've ever dealt with somebody that has a knife, it is really hard to, you know, so even if you've had training, you know how tough it is to defend yourself against a knife. So like I said, even if they overpower you, even if they're stronger than you, if you've got just a little bit of training with a knife, I, I, I believe absolutely positively, this could be the answer for you in a life and death situation. Again, not saying to replace the gun, not take a knife to a gunfight, but if this uh, is what you're allowed to have or you wanna have this in addition to, uh, I think it can really help you. And like I said, I wish you and yours the best. Just train with it, whatever the case may be, whatever knife you have. Like I said, I've got some more blades I'm gonna show you, uh, like in a car situation or whatever. If you don't have one, if a holster, you don't have this on you. Uh, but it's a fixed blade, very strong, very durable. And in a time of need, in a time of trouble, this could be a great tool to have in your belt. But anyway, appreciate you. May God bless you. Wish you and yours the very best. Hope you have a great summer. The Kentucky Patriot, signing off. Normally we don't edit videos. Once I started the video, we just go all the way through. After I got done, my wife said, you probably should have said a little more about the holster. So I'm gonna try, she said she could edit this in somewhere. So like I said, normally we don't edit videos. So I don't you think I'm lying to you, deceiving you, but I do think it's important to talk about this holster and I probably should have showed it a little bit better. Pretty much like your holster for a gun, to be honest with you. And very lightweight, very, and literally when you, this holds onto your belt, it doesn't move. So when you pull it out, it's very quick, very simple. Uh, this is basically the holster here. It's got the paddle style holster and it snaps in. So when you put this in, it does have a curved blade, but when you pull it out, you don't, it's not like an AK uh, when, when, you know, when you're trying to put the banana magazine in and we call them how you have to go. I mean, you put it right in, right? This slides right in and out. I mean, it's not going anywhere. It's secure. I mean, you're not going to accidentally let it fall out of your pocket. I mean, it's not so much retention where uh, you're going to need it, not be able to get it, but it's plenty of retention. I'm telling you, no matter what you're doing, unless you're grappling in jujitsu or sambo or, or gecko roman wrestling, uh, this isn't gonna come out and Lord have mercy. If you're doing those, you don't need a karambit on your side. So anyway, this isn't gonna come out. It's not gonna just come loose. Uh, but if you need it to, just grab it a good hard quick jerk and you are ready to rock and roll. So again, here's the holster really quick. And there's a million holsters, a million karambits. If you want a bigger one, smaller one, uh, uh, I mean, there is literally, it's about like a, a firearm or anything else. I mean, there's Glock, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, there's holsters, there's Galco, there's uh, uh, Alien Gear, there's Safari Land, there's a million kinds of holsters, a million kinds of guns, there's a million kinds of knives. Get one to suit your taste, get one that you like, and I will tell you this, this is something you don't have to spend a lot on to still be able to take to your life. And, and, and what I mean is, I know Wilson Combat's awesome, but you don't have to spend $5,000 for a classic 19, uh, 11 Wilson Combat to protect you uh, uh, in concealed carry. Glocks, Smith & Wesson, Ruger's, a lot of good choices, SIGs. Uh, same thing with this. You can buy the Cadillacs, you can buy the Mercedes Benz, you can buy the uh, the Wilson Combat, so to speak, of the knife world in holsters and in knives, but you don't have to. You know, shotguns, Mossberg will run great. You know what I mean? So any of these that's solid, that's sharp, that's got a good holster, that's comfortable from you, don't think, well, that's not much money. I, it can't be good. A lot of these are excellent. Uh, and you don't have to spend a fortune. So basically, here's the holster. Here's the karambit. May God bless you. The Kentucky Patriot signing off.